Hey guys, this is your girl Chris Chabelle and in today's video we're gonna be doing a makeup and chill kind of video. We're just gonna do our makeup. If you want to do your makeup with me then grab your makeup and do some makeup with me. I haven't really planned anything for this look. I'm just gonna figure it all out as I go. And fun fact, I actually tried to film this in the morning but there was a lot of noise in the house. There was a lot of noise outside the house so i scrapped the whole video and i just waited for everybody to go to sleep and now it's currently 12 30 a.m and i'm here filming a video if you want to make up and chill with me then grab your makeup let's do our makeup together and let's just talk well i'm gonna be doing the talking but you can talk in the comments i don't even know what i'm gonna be talking about but i'll be doing my makeup so let's get started <sighs> so to start off we're gonna de-oilify my skin because i have very oily skin and it drives me nuts so just to control the oil we're gonna de-oilify my skin I don't even know if that's a word but let's just go for it and well now it exists <laughs> watch me turn this paper transparent this is actually a lifesaver because ever since I started using that the oils on my skin did not bother me as much because I was using one to two of them every day it's part of my makeup routine now so Now, for primer, we're gonna be using the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer by Maybelline. By the way, the packaging is really cute. I like it that they changed it. A little bit on the hand. I think I put too much. So, as I said in the beginning of the video, I attempted to film this in the morning. There was so much noise in the morning from outside the gardener was out there he was gardening <laughs> my mom was cooking my dad just came back from work so it was pretty noisy and also the makeup look i was doing was a disaster so i decided to scrap the whole video and just wait until everybody was going to sleep so that i could film in peace yeah my god i feel tired but at the same time i don't feel tired so for foundation i'm gonna be using the insta perfect liquid makeup foundation by essence cosmetics put a little bit on the back okay that's not a little but it's okay so what was i talking about oh yeah it was noisy and now that i got a microphone i'm afraid that it's gonna hear everything and now that everybody's asleep i feel a little bit less stressed about filming the video and for it to not have a lot of noise apart from my voice and the sound outside because it's really windy outside right now and it's finally sweater weather i'm wearing my sweaters finally because during the summer i bought like three four sweaters and for the whole month of september and october i could not wear them i was wearing a denim jacket and t-shirt that's it because it was too hot to wear a sweater i felt like my sweaters were going to waste honestly because i was not wearing them now that november hit i can finally wear my sweaters but guess what i cannot wear my sweaters outside why because i'm in quarantine that's right greece went back on a national lockdown and honestly i don't blame them hospitals honestly cannot handle all those patients coming in and going into intensive care so that's why they decided instead of just putting restrictions on us they would just put us on a national lockdown and i cannot blame them i cannot really get mad at them because with people not following measures <laughs> you can see the reason why okay 
when people don't follow measures, they have secret parties, they go to clubs when they're in, now they're in, the, they're in the middle of the quarantine, they don't social distance or at least try to social distance because sometimes it's just impossible to social distance. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the Camouflage Plus Matte Concealer by Essence Cosmetics. Like I said, if people don't social distance or at least try to social distance because I know I've seen on the news that public transportation is impossible. There is absolutely no room for social distancing because obviously people want to go to work. So, you know, if you don't social distance or at least try, then you, you cannot expect the government to not put restrictions on you, you know? And for me personally, I am an introvert. I like staying inside the house, so I wouldn't say that it's much of an issue for me, but I like going out actually. Even though I'm an introvert, I like going out. I like having the option to go out and now being restricted of going out wherever I want. It's not like I'm going to the center where it's crowded and everything. But, you know, just going out away from my area because I'm bored of my area, you know. Not that there's something wrong with my area. I just want to go to another area because I live in the area that I'm currently in. Just going to another area, having the freedom to do that, it just frustrates me. I do like being inside the house, having my own schedule, finding things to do and everything. I do want to go out. Being inside the house for so long for too long actually it just drives you crazy after a while you know he drove me crazy back in spring when we were in in the lockdown from march until june i think july that drove me crazy okay now i don't have that option i mean i do have the option to go out for like exercise but that's not the kind of freedom that I want. I want to go out and return whatever time I want to and be able to go to my friend's house and stay there for as long as I want to. And I cannot do that. I guess I'm a little bit frustrated by that. I actually like having my college classes online because the university that I go to is really far away from me, transportation-wise. They have to change transportation like two or three times in order to reach my, the campus so that's a very good thing for me i'm gonna be doing my brows now using the colourpop brow gel powder in the color banging brunette and it's really it's literally empty now and i have to use the new one that i got by essence again but like this is from colourpop <laughs> And also another thing is I'm on my fifth year. I'm a senior in college now. I'm about to graduate and because I've already had the college experience for the past four years, I don't really mind being online. I've already had the college experience and I know that's not the same with college freshmen because it's their first year and they were expecting to have fun, uh, walk around campus, make new friends, socialize and everything but instead they got quarantine and a pandemic uh, during the beginning of their college career and that's yeah I can understand their perspective literally this pandemic is taking away their college experience let's talk about what you can possibly do during the pandemic i mean maybe that's kind of a boring question but i see this quarantine as an opportunity to make my own schedule do whatever i want and develop my new hobby so my hobby is making videos. I think it's a good opportunity for people to find a hobby of theirs to keep them occupied during quarantine. Just keep their mind off of things. Of course, you might have work or assignments or anything. I have four projects coming up. Five or four. Four projects and one assignment. You know, I still have time to do my hobbies. That's really nice for me because it's really relaxing. Making videos relaxes me. Although I wasn't planning to do a video at 12 o'clock in the morning. But here we are. And now I'm gonna prime my eyelids using the Proofit Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer by NYX Cosmetics. Now let's talk about something else. Let's talk something that is not about quarantine 
or the pandemic although I'm guessing the further I go more I'll speak about it I saw on Twitter that party in the USA has re-entered the top 70 position I guess it is a party in the USA right now and for me it's not a party it's time to sleep but I'm here makeup and chillin with you guys also if you have any thoughts if you wanna tell me how quarantine is treating you then go ahead there is a comment section right there feel free to share your thoughts <laughs> now that my eyes are also primed i'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow palette this is the hello berlin eyeshadow palette by essence cosmetics i just love their packaging their packaging is super cute i actually opened this today first time that i started filming this in this morning but since it was a huge fail you won't get to see my initial reaction this palette from the colors that i tried so far which are these two green ones it is good it is really 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 good the first color that i'm gonna go in with is the light green color right here this is gonna be my base color that's really good it has a little bit of fallout but that's just like any eyeshadow and also i like that it also has a mirror here the good thing is i get to do whatever i want inside the house and i'm actually very happy about it so what should i talk about Hmm, what would you like me guys to talk about? I don't know. Maybe it's because my brain is a little bit out of it right now. Because it's night. <laughs> Let's talk about books. Harry Potter. I don't know. I'm just... Oof. Oof. I cannot get over this. Look. Not my face. The brush. Thank you. It's so pigmented. I just love it. You know, makeup makes me happy okay i love colors i love experimenting with colors and i actually got into makeup actually buying more makeup and more nice quality product this year with my first ever professional makeup palette being the modern dreamer by nyx cosmetics this is like my favorite palette and i use it in every video so that was like the first serious palette that i've had and i couldn't stop playing with it like there was so much color i love color I like nude sometimes, but I mostly like putting color on my eyelids, especially yellow and pink. Yellow and pink are my favorite colors out there. You know, ever since I started doing my makeup and playing with makeup, it was really relaxing. And also, when it comes to videos, I know I'm just rambling right now, but I'm sorry. But I just want to like talk. Ever since I was a small kid, I was attracted to videos, not in a sexual way though. <laughs> let's make this clear but i liked making videos i started when i was like middle school with windows movie maker or was i was i senior high school i don't remember when i started i remember that i started using windows media player and i was really excited about it and then i was using like sony vegas pro and then i switched to adobe premiere pro and now i'm still using that oh that looks nice and i keep using that until now on my first year and i like when i began my first youtube channel which i accidentally deleted years ago i made video hauls and everything i made hauls of the clothes that i was buying and i was doing like makeup tutorials like celebrity makeup tutorials they were very bad i still have some of those videos but they were really bad now i'm gonna cut my crease i'm gonna be taking my time with that because i need to be precise with it and if my voice sounds a little bit weird i'm sorry i think it's because of the night or because i need water whatever it is i really like the whole world of video editing i always found myself going back to it and now that quarantine is here like when pan the pandemic hit i wanted to make i went back to video editing and i always seem to go back to video editing because i guess i like it that much i like the process i like filming and i'm gonna let that dry oh it's way better than the previous one that i did oh god i'm so yes so what was i talking about i forgot it's okay 
Let's talk about something else. Night. So are you a night owl or a morning person? Because I feel like I can be both. Like right now, I'm a night owl, but I really need to go to sleep. But I think that I, it will be better if I filmed at night because it's when everyone everything is quiet. But I also like filming in the morning because I'm more a little bit more energetic. But if I drink some coffee, then maybe that will do the trick. But I want to sleep afterwards. So after this video, I'm going to be taking pictures and then I'm just going to remove all of this and just go to sleep. And then wake up in the morning and just start editing it. Oh god. So let's talk about college assignments. I know, I'm very lame. Now that my concealer is dry, I'm gonna go in with this rose gold champagne-ish color. And I'm gonna be do putting it over my crease. The cut crease, I mean. The crease that I just cut. It sounds like an essay. The cut crease. The crease that I just cut. The crease that has just been cut. Just so that I can add more <laughs> words in my essay. I mean, I had to do that a lot this semester because I was just not feeling it. You know, I was just not in the mood to write essays, okay? And I was just saying things like, the crease, the cut crease, the crease has been cut. The crease that has been cut, the crease that is about to be cut. The crease that will be severely cut, you know, stuff like that. So I had to do that a lot this year. I mean, previous years, I remember, I was very excited about writing an essay, but now this has changed. I don't like writing essays anymore although i know they're very useful in the future not a big fan i think i'm still good at i mean i feel like i'm better at project rather than essays and exams but if i had to choose between exams and an essay i would choose an essay anytime now we're going back in with the dark green did i show you the dark green here is the beautiful dark dark green i think this is like my favorite color on this palette because it's so pigmented i love it and i'm gonna blend that in with the with the rest of my crease maybe this needs a fluffier brush i'm just gonna blend that in oh it looks good but yeah i oh Oh my god, that turned out so much better than the one in the morning. Yes! Should I put some glitter on it? I think I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of glitter on it. I'm gonna be putting on the Glitter Goals Liquid Eyeliner by NYX. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit, the tiniest bit. Although I'll be removing it afterwards, but that's okay. <laughs> Oof, yes, I love it. I don't think this needs eyeliner at all. <clears throat> I could lay here all day. Wait, what were we talking about again? Oh my god, I feel like I'm forgetting everything that I was talking about. So what did I talk about? I was talking about school, I was talking about quarantine, projects. Oh yeah, I'm more of a practical learner rather than reading from a book learner. <laughs> That's why I was such a horrible student in the high school. Oh my god, I was getting the worst grades, okay? I was not good at anything except for math, art class, and English. Those were the subjects I was good at, while the rest were just... I'm so happy with this look, oh my god. And then I'm gonna be taking this highlighter palette, which is called Crystal Power by Essence Cosmetics. So here it is. I'm gonna take this gold um, highlighter color and put it in my inner corners. It's just a little bit cool. Ooh, that looks good. And again, I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird. That's just my 
late night voice and I apologize in advance for that Ooh, maybe I should put a little uh, just a tiny bit of the rose gold shade just so I can matchy matchy that mochi mochi that oof yes 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 and then this brush that we have the dark colored shade we're just gonna put it at the at the lower lash line just a tiny bit you don't need to take more just the leftover oof i love it and normally i would put a green eyeliner but since i don't have green i'm gonna put white so just use what you have and do what you can and now it's time for the crucial part which is the eyelashes last time that i put on my the eyelashes i had quite a difficulty putting them on so let's see how i'll handle it today so first of all i'm gonna put some lash glue on the back of my hand because last time i had quite some difficulty putting on lash glue i said a little bit not a lot and then I'm gonna grab one of the eyelashes and then I'm just gonna put it on the lash glue. I hope this works this time. I'm kind of nervous actually. This is my second time putting eyelashes on so let's see how that goes. I think I put it on. And correctly. Now I think I should like connect them together. Maybe some mascara. So this is the Volume Stylist Last Extension Mascara by Essence Cosmetics. And this is one eye complete. I really love how this turned out. And now I'm going to be doing the second eye off camera because this video is going to be way too long <laughs> so I'll see you guys in a bit do you know why I like filming my videos in the morning because I get to keep the looks that I do on my face and right now I did this gorgeous green makeup look and just the thought that I'm just gonna keep it on pose and take some pictures and then remove it it just makes me sad like look at it this must be the best eyeshadow look that I've done forget the other makeup looks that I did this is gorgeous and right now it's like 2 a.m and I have to remove it like this is so sad we're gonna go in with the rest of the face so I'm gonna be using blush and the blush that I'm gonna be using it's called the blush by essence cosmetics and for highlighter I'm gonna be going in with the crystal power highlighter and I'm gonna be using the this shade right here the golden one called glowing energy yes I do have a glowing energy and after this highlighter goes on my face it should be glowing ooh, ooh. Do you see that? Do you see that? I better blend that out. Okay, a little goes a long way. I like blending it out with my fingers afterwards. Essence Cosmetics, are you kidding me? This is the best palette ever. And then a little bit on my nose with the leftover on the bridge of my nose. Okay, maybe I were dated on my nose, but it's not summer anymore, so I don't look that sweaty. I can do it and now for lips I'm gonna be using the staying matte liquid lipstick by essence cosmetics this is literally the only nude lipstick that I have so far but I'm planning on getting more in the future and now to give my lips a little bit of juiciness a little bit of I'm gonna be using the Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss by Essence Cosmetics. This is literally my favorite brand. 
Also, this particular lip gloss, it makes your lips a little bit tingly when you put it on, but that's because it plumps it up a little bit, I'm guessing. Now, let me ask you a question. Is there a point of me putting setting spray on my face if I'm gonna remove it afterwards? I mean, I don't even see the point in this anymore. This is the You Better Work Gym Proof Fixing Spray by Essence Cosmetics. This is how it looks like. Not my face, although I know it's pretty here. Honestly, I don't see the point putting it, but I'm gonna just put it... So guys, this is the makeup look. This is what turned out to become a very glittery green makeup look. I think I nailed it considering the fact that I think it's my first time doing a green makeup look and I've never really done green and I was afraid of green but I think pretty good. And please, also please comment down below and tell me that this look was worth doing at currently 2.20 in the morning because after this, I'm just going to take some pictures, take some nice posing pictures, and then remove it and then just <laughs> go back to sleep. And I'm not gonna enjoy this look as much as I would want to because I really love this look so comment down below and tell me that it was worth doing this look <laughs> and if you like this video then don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up and also I do videos once a week so subscribe to my channel for videos once a week and right now I'm going to take some pictures and remove the, the makeup and also clean up my room and go to sleep so I wish you guys a good night or a good morning and I hope to see you guys next time see ya bye <laughs>